such an unhealthy relationship with Shein at this point. Every month, I stack up my shopping cart and it's $600. And then I get an insane coupon and I pay $200 for all of that stuff that you just saw. And here I am again with a gigantic Shein haul. I am going to break this haul down into two parts because I just have way too many items. So this haul will focus on all of the summer clothes, the accessories, the shoes, and then the second part will be strictly swimsuits. Even though I am breaking this haul down into two parts, there are still just so many items, so I am going to get right into it. The first item I wanna talk about is actually the top I am wearing right now. It is so cute. I wore it to a networking business event on Friday, and it was perfect. I did wear nipple covers with it. It is a knit, but it's still pretty thin. So this is the Thai backless ribbed knit top. I picked it up in a size medium for $8.80. So everything that I purchased, I obviously got an insane coupon. That's why this haul is so incredibly large. So originally it was $11, but I paid under $9 for this top. I absolutely love the open back. It is something that you can wear with a nice pair of linen pants. You can wear with a skirt. Before I get into all of the clothes, I do wanna just go over shoes and accessories first so I don't forget about them. So the first pair of shoes I actually haven't tried on yet but they are these gorgeous nude mules. I love the square toe. Square toe is so incredibly popular this season. And I also love the heel height. So when I was in college, you would not catch me dead in a kitten heel. I was a scrawny 17 year old stumbling to the club in stripper heels. Like it was not fun. So the fact that heels are comfortable and sleek and chic and small and trendy now, I absolutely love. So those shoes were the vegan leather open toe slip on stiletto heels. And I picked them up in seven and a half and they are true to size. So they were originally $26 and I got them for 18. I had never purchased shoes from Shein before, which is why I kind of splurged on this haul. So next up I picked up, I mean, they're pretty similar besides over here is just a little different. So same style, actually this doesn't look bad together. I specifically bought these for an outfit that I'm gonna try on for you. So I hope it fits cause it's so cute. So these have a little bit more of an arch to them and I do love this like padded loose leather, faux leather over here. These are the pleather square toe ruched vamp stiletto heels in a size eight. I'm a seven and a half eight, so if they don't have a seven and a half, I pick up an eight. If they don't have an eight, I pick up a seven and a half and it always works out. So originally these were $27 and I picked them up for 19. Not bad, two for two on the shoes. So the last pair didn't work out, unfortunately. I really thought that these were going to check off every single Spice Girl fantasy dream I've ever had, but they have such a weird back. I don't know what's going on. There's like this weird hook that's supposed to clasp into this. I just, I don't get it. I really tried to put them on, but they're way too loose. So if you have a narrow foot, this is not going to work out for you. They are super light, which is great because they almost look like they'd be really, really heavy, like my platform Doc Martens. I just love this. I love the lug sole. They're so cool. So I am going to return these and try and pick up another pair from Shein because they have like a thousand versions of the same thing all the time. So I also picked up two belts. Uh, they are the same belt, just in two colors. So this is the black one. I'm not even taking the brown one out of the package because it's so big. I, d I don't understand. I really don't. So this is the Geo Buckle. Oh my God, it's a plus size belt. I'm so dumb. I am so dumb. That's why it doesn't fit. So on top of never purchasing shoes from Shein before, I had never purchased bags either. So I decided to give it a go. So I picked up this crocodile shoulder bag and it's in a really like light minty green and it's so damn cute. I haven't worn it yet, but I can't wait to style it. I'll try and style the bags like with the outfits that I have up here. So this croc embossed baguette bag was only six bucks. It was $5.95. And it came in like a hundred colors. So very, very cute. I'm gonna go and get a neutral one as well because 
It's just simple. It's light. This is going to fit the necessities. iPhone XS Max, like we good. The next bag I picked up is this white one. This is the lizard pattern shoulder bag and hello. It was $4. This was $4. This also came in so many colors and it's easy. I don't ever grab white accessories. Like you'll never see me in white shoes, a white bag, like a white hat. I really wish I was brave enough to accessorize myself that way. So I thought, okay, pick up a $4 bag and try it out. And that way I can at least get used to that kind of trend or style and then maybe splurge on something a little bit nicer. But again, fits everything. Phone would fit in here perfectly with keys, card holder, lip gloss. Not looking good guys. So before I talk about the top I'm wearing, I'm going to talk about this like tissue paper top. This top was the crisscross tie back knit top. It was $6 so I should know better and I got it in a size medium. This has over 10,000 five star reviews and it comes in it, like 40 colors. So I picked it up in this khaki. It took me 15 minutes just to figure out like the ties in the back to get it on. I mean, look how see-through this is. It just, it just doesn't even feel like I could ever get away with wearing this. Yeah, so maybe if it was a small, it would fit me a little bit better. I never know what size to purchase because of my chest size. I never want to be like too tight or spilling out. So sometimes I grab mediums and tops like that. I would not recommend buying that top. Maybe the other colors are a better material because to have reviews like that is just insane to me. But yeah, there's no way I could have showed you it on me because you could literally see everything. This next top also took me about 10 minutes to figure it out. I had to open up the photo finally and be like, how do I get you on? This is the cut out ruched one shoulder top. This was under $7 and I picked it up in a size medium. I wish I had just gone with a small, but whatever. But maybe if I wash it, it will shrink up a little bit. So this top has 3,800 five star reviews. I was like, yes, need it. I should not have sized up. It does come in again, like a dozen colors. I just grabbed it in this khaki color. Do you ever just get so upset with yourself? Like genuinely, what were you thinking? Because that's me so far with this haul. I picked up this gorgeous top, so beautiful in a size medium and I should have just picked up a size small. This top is the applique crop cami top and it was under $10. It does come in a ton of other colors and it has 8,600 five-star reviews and my dumb ass sized up. We finally have something that fits and looks cute. So this top is a little different, a little weird. It's definitely 90s, early 2000s and I love it. So this is two separate pieces. Um, we have like the halter top and then this arm cover over it. I like it, I like it so much. Is it practical? Yeah, if I'm gonna go out to dinner and it's nice out and then it's gonna get cold at night, it's practical. <laughs> I think this is so stinking cute. This is the tie back halter top and long sleeve shrug in a size small. So this top was under $14 and it has 2,800 five star reviews. It comes in a couple different colors. I'm probably gonna pick up the other five because I love it so much. So the skirt I'm wearing with it, I really want it to work. This was kind of not a splurge item, but a risk item that I took. And it's the button front long line denim skirt. I grabbed it in a size small and I think I need an extra small if they even offer extra small in it. It was under $20 and I just thought, whatever, if it doesn't work, I'll return it. But it's just, it's loose in some areas where I wish it wasn't. It's really not the end of the world. It's honestly, it's a really heavy, nice material. Absolutely love it. So I'm gonna style it a couple different ways before I make the decision of returning or keeping it. But I'm pretty happy. I'm definitely happy with the top. The skirt mm, is a maybe. Okay, the clothes are getting better and living up to the Shein standard that I have in my head. So this is the next outfit that I was so excited to show you guys. I would put this top in the same caliber as something that you would get from Zara, 
honestly, even H&M. It is the Solid Crop Knit Top and it was less than $6 and it comes in a ton of colors, like at least a dozen colors. 2300 five star reviews. It is so cute. It is puckering like a tiny bit over here, but for a $6 top, I think I can handle a little bit of a pucker. It's really not that big of a deal. I'm typically not this bold to wear this lime green and then this pattern skirt, but I just love it so much. I do think the skirt would look better with a navy blue top or a shade of blue. So I am going to try and pick one up, but this is the high-waisted graphic print skirt. It's less than $10 and it fits me absolutely perfectly. If you follow me on Instagram, then you know I love a good button down. I wear them a thousand different ways, regardless if it is summer, winter, fall, spring. So nothing was stopping me from getting my hands on this button down crop. So this is the button front crop blouse I picked up in a small and it was under $11 absolutely obsessed i did think it was going to be a little bit of a like darker deeper blue but i am definitely okay with it being this light blue it does need to be steamed but the sleeves are cuffed it obviously has the nice collar it is super lightweight this is not how i would style this top or this skirt i just ran out of skirts and tops to show you because we are about to move into dresses but this skirt is the tie waist split hem skirt in a size small, less than $14, and it is phenomenal. It's in another color now, so it comes in a khaki, and I picked it up in beige. It's so nice, it just feels so expensive. This type of quality is what I expect from Shein. It literally just shocks me. If Belle went on a picnic, this is what she would wear. Are you kidding? Women are very weird because we do things like purchase this dress with nowhere to wear it to and no intentions of ever wearing it, but some deep seed inside of us is like, get the dress, buy the dress, waste your money on this dress. And I did that. I hate yellow and here I am staring at myself in my little screen. I absolutely love it. I do wish it was a little smaller, so it does come in an extra small. I do recommend sizing down because I have a pretty big bust and this is a little bit looser. So cute. So here is another cutesy little picnic girly flirty dress. This is the tie front grid print dress in a size small and it was $12. $12. Like, are you kidding me? This isn't tailored. This isn't tucked, pinned, anything. And it fits me like a glove. It's so cute. I'm really happy I pulled the trigger on this dress. I've had a gingham dress in my cart from Zara for over a month now. $60. I'm like, I don't want to spend $60 on a dress I'm probably only going to wear twice. I want to spend $12 on a dress I'm only going to wear once or twice. I think Revolve might have lost my invitation in the mail. I, I'm a little bit confused because I'm supposed to be on a beach with all of those supermodels and influencers wearing this dress. This is the shirt back twist cutout detail split hem slip dress in a size small and it was 12 bucks, 12 dollars. I like $12. This would have been $70 at Zara. This would have been $300 from Revolve. And it's phenomenal. Like the braid detailing on the straps. I, the only thing I wish is it covered a little bit more on like my inner under boob. But besides that for $12, it is literally perfect. I've actually already worn this dress. I wore it last week out in Newport with my friend. Perfect. Again, I love that all of these pieces have hidden zippers. I feel like that is such a simple detail to make something just feel and look more expensive. So this is the Paisley print shirt back cami dress in a size small and it was less than $15. It does come in three other colors. The reviews are phenomenal. It fits true to size. I, I mean, it's perfect. I, I just can't. I have no words. All of these dresses are so perfect. At first I put this one on and was like, oh, this is not something I've ever put on my body, not typically my style. And then I looked in the mirror and I was like, but you got a butt. 
girl, I gave you a butt. You can make that work. So this is the lace up front all over floral dress. It was $16. I picked it up in a size small. 6,300 five star reviews, comes in three other colors. Going to grab them. I don't love the tie front detail, but it's really not a big deal. The bow pretty much covers it completely. I love the ruching. It gives me a shape. 10 out of 10, once again, we are happy. We are so happy. The beginning of this haul was kind of like, ooh, Lauren, what did you get yourself into? And now I'm like, yes, you redeemed yourself. Gorgeous. I don't wanna to spend too much time talking about this dress because it literally does not fit. It can like kind of stay up, but you can see it's really baggy over here. It's not supposed to be doing that. The cup size is very awkward on my bust, but it's just not working out, so not even gonna waste your time. My husband just got home and is doing yard work, so I'm sorry if there is a lot of noise in the background. This is the cut out waist high split dress in a size small, and I got it for less than $17. It does come in a baby pink as well, but because of my hair color, you will not see me in anything pink anytime soon. So this dress is a really slinky, soft, ribbed material. It hugs you in all of the right places. Obviously the cutouts are gorgeous. They are so flattering as well. I absolutely love this dress. If you are someone that looks great in pink or is looking for kind of like a standout dress, grab it in pink. It will look so good on you. <sighs> it's so perfect. It is so perfect. It's a slinky material and it has this circle detail in the front. This is totally, totally, totally out of my comfort zone, but I do not care. But guess what? I picked these up from H&M. These are going to be perfect with this dress. Oh my God, this is such a cute outfit. I think I'm gonna wear this to my friend's birthday brunch on Saturday. It's just so fun, it is so fun. This is the plunging neck tied open back dress in a size small and it was $6.40. Oh my God, I wish it came in more colors. I'm, oh my God, I need to, I don't know. I need to find different versions of this. It's perfect, it's so perfect. That's going to be it for part one of this Shein haul. If you enjoyed this video and don't want to miss out on the swim haul in part two, make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel. I will also be styling everything that I am keeping over on my Instagram at Erin Heartbreak, so you can give me a follow there as well, and I will see you in my next video.